How do you manifest your wishes, your dreams? In Japan, especially this month, January, they are full of rituals, ceremonies that we attend, and also there are many symbolic items we use to invite and to connect to the divine energy of New Year, wishing that the health, prosperity of ourselves, our family, our community, and also for the world that will be peaceful. And of course, we know that 1st of January, we had earthquake in Japan. This is not something we wishes, and this is a negative event. However, this negative event is also part of us. Even if we don't wish it comes, we cannot control. And But then there is some learning aspect, some reminder for everybody how to live through the year. For example, we will appreciate more bond of our family community and also reminder that we are just a humble being or part of nature and appreciate nature, we value nature, we value our environment, so we cherish everything around us. So when it comes to manifestation and making wishes, everything what happens in this world, in our life, there is a cause, effect, and result. And there is a word in Japanese called engi. So this word originated from Buddhism. So there are actually two ways that we use. So original meaning from Buddhism, which means, as I mentioned, everything what we encounter in this world, there is a cause, effect, and a result. For example, let's say the tulip. We have this bulb. I saw so many in when I was living in Holland, and tulip is one of my favorite flower. But tulip itself will not glow by itself. We need, of course, the water and sun, the weather that's affect for the bulb to grow. Then eventually, we, with the care that we give, then the tulip will blossom at the end. So, like for example, even good events and bad events, or like let's say some positive events and negative events, there are always some matters are affecting and some matters are inviting something to happen. So that's the actual original of a Buddhism teaching in short. So that it's not just me, I, cause I receive everything. It's actually with our invisible power around us. So in the modern Japanese vocabulary, we use engi a lot. So we say engi ga yoi means it's a good engi, it means it's a good luck or a good jinx, and also opposite, engi ga warui. So engi itself becomes some outer items or events that could bring us to the direction that's something that we wish or not to wish. So, for example, we have so many items, like this is the I received from a um, uh, gift from the shrine, Sinto shrine. This year is the year of dragon. So dragon is going uh, the upward, upwards energy and brings much luck. And so you can also hear the bell. So this is a kind of symbolic item that I will display through the year because this is also effect part. So it has a divine energy from Shinto and we call these items as Engibutsu. So the item that brings or gathered energy for something that we wish to happen. Also like this item, this is called Omamori. It's also from Shinto because in Japan, as most of you know, and as I explained in the past in this uh, YouTube, we both have Buddhism and Shinto and we practice both and as life philosophy. So there are certain customs and tradition uh, from both life philosophy. 
And this was the new New Year decorations and to welcome the new divine energy of the year. So there are many items which we believe which would attract the divine energy for what we want to manifest. But not only these items, but also this is a teaching that uh, sometimes we meet certain person and this person actually bring to the direction of another person that you are supposed to meet or and you miss the train and you miss the airplane and in a way you feel this is really a bad luck because I missed and it's terrible then at the end you find out the plane had crashed or a certain accident then you you feel okay this was bad that I missed the train and then everything looked like the bad result. However, if I had gone, I would have died or I would have, I would have got injured. So sometimes the negative event could have been something our invisible power is guiding you to other direction to protect. So it is important to live in the moment consciously being aware what's going on. So there are many clues in our life that could bring us to the direction that we wish to be. So today's message from the word Engi is that to live really being the moment and be aware what is going on around us. The negative event that is happening could be something we have to learn and life learning event and a positive event, of course. So to be aware every day what we encounter and also when there are certain items or events, like for example, in Japanese Shinto, Shinto ceremony, where we can actually connect to divine energy of certain result. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please comment below. And also, my ebook is now available. So there is a link below. And please have a look. And I see you next time. Thank you.